I want to talk a little bit about this idea of non-being or non-existence. All right, there is no reference to that term. There is no material such of a thing as non-being, okay? It, it can't be it, it, because by definition it's, it's based on existence. It requires existence to define and when you look at material physics you see, seem to see this confirmed, which is surprising. I would have thought, okay, you probably do have a little bit of nothing somewhere, maybe. No, because um, now even if there was a little bit of nothing, it would be a vacuum, it would be space, and to me this space is something. But there's not even nothing in that sense. Okay, so or it certainly doesn't look like that. So uh, I just don't believe there's such a thing as, as not being. It's like the concept of zero. It's meant to be a placeholder in the column where numbers generally go. You know, it's the idea of nothingness put into the form of a, of a number. You know, non-existence is the idea of, of nothingness where it's not really about non-existence. It's more about potential existence. You know, there's a potential of being. You know, when you have a zero in a column of, uh, you know, I picked five apples today and three apples today. Oops, today I picked zero. It's relative to the number of apples that you would have picked that day. You know, it's a placeholder and you didn't get any. And it's with reference to that. So there isn't any real idea of non-being. Um, it's, it's an abstraction for talking about potential things that could have been or maybe in the future but are not yet. It, it's based on the concept of being.